What's going on Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy and today I'm going to show you how to make your online store multilingual in Wix. Yes, it's here. You heard it right. It is here. So before we dive into the minutia, let's talk about this. If you're just watching this for the first time and you're new to this channel, congratulations. I appreciate you heading over here and trusting me to deliver this content to you. If you would like to be part of our Wix Nation community, go ahead and click that subscribe button in the bottom right of this video and turn those bell notifications on. Join over 29,000 awesome like-minded Wixers in Wix Nation. And if you're not new and you just came here and you've been watching the content for a while, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well if you haven't already. Lastly, head over to WixMyWebsite.com, link in the description below, and you can get registered completely free to our Wix Training Academy and you get access to tons of free Wix training content. Now let's dive into today's video, which is how to make our online store multilingual in Wix. So guys, here's the good news. First, we're working on a Wix template here. Who doesn't love puppies? Who doesn't love dogs? They're the cutest little thing, so that's why I chose that for today's template. Now, it's very easy to actually um, excuse me, manage your multilingual experience here in Wix now. Previously, you guys have watched my old videos. It was a little bit more complicated. So let's dive into how to do this. Number one, you obviously have to have an online store added to your website. Likely, if you're watching this video, you've already taken that step. If you haven't, you can go watch one of my videos on how to add a multi-link, or excuse me, how to add an online store to your website. Once you've got the store, here's how you make it multilingual. Once you're in the editor, you're going to hover over settings. You're going to scroll down to multilingual. You're going to click it, and then you're going to press Get Started. Once you've done that, you're going to pick the main language of your website. Obviously, if you're from the United States like me, it's probably English, so I'm going to press English. Then you're going to add the next language. Maybe you're only going to have one additional language. If you have multiple, that's totally fine. You have the ability to have as many languages as you want. But for the sake of this, let's just say our next language is Spanish. Then we'll click that. And then you choose the flag you want displayed. So maybe you're looking to target specifically Spain. So I'll type in, whoops, I'll scroll, excuse me, to Spain on here. And you want the Spain flag to show for the Spanish version of the site. You would then click next. And then you press start now and you can start translating your site. So what you have to do is you've got this nifty tool up here. Uh, this is the way to switch between your English version of your website and in this case the Spanish version of your website or whatever other language you decide to choose. Uh, if you switch over to Spanish, any changes that are made on your Spanish version of the website will only be reflected upon the Spanish version of the website. What I mean by that is we see this little tool right here. This is our language menu. So this will be displayed in the header of your website. When people press preview or go to your site, they'll be able to toggle between your English and Spanish versions. Okay, so whatever changes you make in the Spanish editor, Spanish editor, it's the same editor, but the Spanish version of your site will be reflective upon the Spanish version of your live site. Whatever is made in the English version will be reflected upon in the English version of your website. But now let's talk about how to make the store multilingual. So if you go up here and you press manage languages, it's going to open our multilingual dashboard. Okay. So once it loads up, I'm going to show you how we go about this. It's quite cool, actually. So you'll see once we get in here, and it's searching right now for translatable content. It's searching to pull in the information from Wix stores just like that. So now that we've got it here, you see your two languages at the top here. You've got your English, and the online store is already in English because that's the primary language of your site or whatever the primary language is of your website. That's what the primary store will be. But then you've got your secondary version. So number one, you can see you can add languages whenever you want. 
But down below this, you'll see right here, translate your content. So yes, you do have to manually translate the content to make this happen. But Wix has created a much niftier way to go about this. So you'll see here Wix stores. So it obviously pulled and said that, okay, there's obviously an online store here and the content in this would need to be translated. To translate it, you can first go to your products and press translate. Once you do that, it's going to go ahead, it's going to load. It's taking its jolly time to load right now because I've got a lot of stuff running on my computer. Okay, so now once it opens, you'll see all of your products in here. They'll all be listed right here on your multilingual dashboard. What you have to do is you have to go in and translate the product. So you'll click translate. And then once this opens up, I'll show you in just a second. You'll see all of your product information here and you'll see you can actually translate faster with Google Translate. So now you can automatically translate the content on your site. Just click the Google Translate icon. So just to let you guys know, this is pretty cool. This is a brand new thing. I didn't even know this existed until this video. So now you just caught me discovering a new Wix feature. This is literally brand new. If you press Get Started, all you got to do is press Google Translate, and it translated it to Spanish for you. And that's all you have to do up and down through your products here. And you press that check mark to show that it's updated, updated. And what you'll do is you'll literally go through and do this for each one. Just so you guys are aware, the fact that they added that Google Translate is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, as of like last week when I checked this, that was not there. So instead of having to manually go ahead and translate each of these they added Google Translate, which means it just expedited your process. What could have taken multiple hours upon hours can literally take maybe a, an hour now to go through and translate your site. And what you'll do is you'll literally go through and now just press Google Translate down each and every one of these on each product, and you'll press Next, okay? When you press Next, I'll show you what will happen here. It'll pull up your next product, okay? So it'll pull up your next product, and you'll literally go through and do this to each of your products. Once you do that, I'm going to go back to the multilingual dashboard here. Um, give it a second to load up. Once you do that, it's going to pull in some of your content, okay? And then you can actually go through and you can translate each part of your store. So the products is one area you can translate. You've also got product options, collections, delivery options. All of these need to be translated as well. I know that can become a lot, but you've got a way to go about doing it now. And now with the Google Translate automatically translating it, it's expedited the process even more. So they're not quite at a complete automatic translation process yet, but they're getting close, which is awesome. So you can go through and actually translate each of these sections of your store so that way you get a complete translation over. Once that is complete, by the way, your normal Wix pages such as your shop, your, or excuse me, your cart, your checkout pages, those are automatically translated by Wix because you don't have the power to change those pages at the moment. So Wix automatically translate those for you. So there's no need to worry there. So on your Spanish version, those will be translated for you. So once you've got these all translated, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and uncheck this hidden and you're going to make it visible. And it's going to make your Spanish site live. So now when someone goes to your e-commerce store and they go in, and if we exit out of multilingual here, and they flip between English and Spanish, now that you've made it live, they'll be able to see both an English version of the store and a Spanish version of the store. Whoops, I hit the mic there. Depending on which one they're toggled between. Uh, the same thing goes for your entire website. So you've got two versions of your website. You've got your English and your Spanish version. So obviously all of this right here, your header information, all of that can be changed as well, but that's got to be translated by you at the moment, just like with the store. And it's that easy to do, guys. I know it's a lot of work in the actual translation product by product and store option by store option. I get that. But imagine now having to spend 
a little bit more time, but nowhere near as much time as you would have previously had to spend. And now it's actually achievable in Wix to create a multilingual experience all the way through, including your store, which is awesome. So if this video helped you guys out, make sure you drop a like down below. Comment if you've got any questions whatsoever. And guys, join Wix Nation. Go ahead, click that subscribe button right down below. It makes me happy and it's awesome. And just so you're aware, I'm trying to reach a goal of making this community 50,000 subscribers within the next two to three months. I want to continue building a bigger, better, and stronger community. And if you feel like you can contribute to that, you have the power to come in here, subscribe, and make this community a better place, hit that subscribe button and join the community. We want you in here. And I feel like you would be a perfect match. So just come on in and you'll never miss any of our Wix training content. And you get to be part of something amazing. In addition to that, if you guys would like to get free access to the Wix Training Academy, literally no strings attached, just free access to a bunch of Wix training content, all you gotta do is click the link in the description below, wixmywebsite.com, and come join the Academy. And lastly, you'll also notice another link in the description below. That is a link to register for a Wix account. If you have not yet registered for a Wix account or don't have a premium plan, which you need in order to accept payments for your online store, I've got a link down below. Yes, it is an affiliate link. If you guys watch the content here, that'd be awesome if you can support by using my affiliate link. If you're like, screw this guy, I don't want to use it, so be it. There's no hard feelings. That's okay, uh, but it would be awesome if you can use it. Other than that, guys, that is how you make your online store multilingual in Wix. I hope this helps quite a bit of you because it's very awesome that they just released all of this feature-rich functionality to enable you to really make this a reality rather than having to go through the old system. And if you want to see how you had to do it in the old days, go back to my old multilingual videos and you can see how much the multilingual experience has evolved in Wix. When I say leaps and bounds, I mean leaps and bounds. It's absolutely phenomenal. So thank you guys for watching this video. Again, like comment, and subscribe. Be part of that nation and share this with colleagues, friends, whoever that might benefit from this content. I appreciate it. I'll catch you on our next video.